Hey, welcome back everybody! We shall be playing, revisiting rather, the action mission of Need for Speed Payback, which is the last mission. This is the last, when the, not the last mission, the last set piece. Yeah, yeah. See, which I gotta choose my words carefully. I have to be accurate. Not left leading or right, <laughs> not left leading or right leading. <laughs> uh, not gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Hey, trivia time! Uh, I did a video, I made a video about Need for Speed females, Need for Speed females, every single female in Need for Speed franchise. And Dominique Tipper, her real name is Dominique Tipper. In real life, she is hot! She's a very beautiful, strong, independent woman. And yeah, yo, check out my video! I don't think I will link it here somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Just check out my Need for Speed playlist and you'll get it there. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Double or nothing. Double or nothing, here I come. Gas stations. All right, all right, this is it. The Dream Team, the Fast and Furious Dream Team has come together to pull off the final showdown. To pull off the final heist. What's this? Off. Mercedes G Wag or G63, yeah, it's a G Wagon. And the second target. And the second target. The, second one out to Japan tomorrow. the, the collector, Lamborghini, Lamborghini Aventador. That's a that's a gold plated Lamborghini Machine. Let's give it a shot. Look, Payback did try to be different, and for that I highly respect and salute to the developers who tried to make a comeback using action in Need for Speed. Come on, you take two years gap, you gotta give us something new. And yes, I do agree Need for Speed Payback was gave us something new. Was it good or bad? You know, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I'm still playing it. <laughs> I'm literally playing it right freaking now. So, wow, this car is fast. I see. Oh, not a single hit. That has to be one of the uh, lucky, lucky, lucky. I haven't hit a single pole. Not. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I jinxed it. I jinxed. I jinxed my own good good luck charm. Don't jinx it. Oh, oh, oh! Bless you. Damn it! You jinxed it. <laughs> Jump the ramp. Whoa! That's so cool. Yeah! Look at that. Was it necessary to do the 360 burnout? Look at all these rich people. Look at all these rich people. You like your gold plated G Wagon? Can I put her for a spin? And look! No wiring needed, nothing. It's like they had the key. It's like they had the key. All, all Mac had to do was step in. Put in the key, turn it on, and go. <laughs> no security measures, nothing. It's so easy. <laughs> Not even my own car starts off like that. <laughs> I have to, I have to put it. I have to twist the key multiple times. Yes, I don't have a button. It's a family car. What do you expect? It's a key. <laughs> uh, relatable, right? Hey, comment down below. Relatable. First world problems. Am I right? Oh, the G-Wagon can drift. And by the way, if you didn't know, G-Wagon is not meant for a status symbol. It wasn't meant to be. It's meant for heavy duty military purposes. There, jumping, off-roading, swamps, anything. This Mercedes G-Wagon can do anything. That's why military, militaries of the world uses it. The most famous, uh, after what they've done on medias, video on it Iranian military uh, rather Iranian prince or king or rule ruler uh, they ordered hundreds of G wagon for their military because it, this car was apt for the harsh environments you know Iran deserty slightly deserty rocky and here we go I, this is the time for the Italian stallion the Lamborghini Lamborghini <laughs> Lamborghini Machine. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wee hoo. Oh, the popos are here. Whoa, get the car to wrap. Tyler! And these cars were already fitted with nitrous. Drifter! Oh! I did not want to drift that far, but the extra boost from the cop car made me do it. Oh, this car is fast. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, roadblock, roadblock. Off-road, Lamborghini going off-road, uphill. How unrealistic. <laughs> you don't expect realism from uh, from video games and movies based off of Fast and Furious, okay? You don't. That is, oh, ow! Good, good hit, good hit, good hit. Good hit. Okay. Woo! The physics in this game, man. Hey! They're aggressive. They're so aggressive. Let's go. Let's go. We're so close. Make this turn and we got it. All right. Tyler Morgan. Oh, here comes the semi truck. Damn, that shot was so cool. The shot. Holy hell, thanks. Whoa. Boom. That's called <laughs> surgery precision. That is surgery precision. Boom. Hey, how much does this semi truck weigh? On average, minimum. On top of that, I am carrying cargo behind me. So each Lamborghini and the Mercedes G Wagon, it it has its weight of its own, including the what do you call it? Freight, the freight at the back that has a weight weight on the of its own, and the rear tires. How many? How many wheels we got? Two, four. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, eight wheels. Those have extra weight. So I'm guessing how many? Ten thousand kilograms or more. Whoa! This reminded me of something. Uh, oh, Terminator 2. Yes, Terminator 2. The scene where the truck jumps from the bridge. That was real, by the way. No, back in the 60s. Wait, yeah, 60s. There were no green screen. There was no CGI. You had to do it practically. Just like Tom Cruise does it practically, even to this day. Shout out, Tom Cruise. After watching so many Marvel movies, you know, it gets stale. Uh, even even you, even the CGI's, it gets so stale. I said, okay, I've seen different planets, seen there, been there, done that, watched it. And that's why, uh, if you're gonna go full CGI, go 100% CGI, as in Avatar. It, come on, be, be honest. It was beautiful, the world building, it's beautiful. I never seen anything like that. Let's go, let's go, let's go, boom! Pursuer wrecked. Boom! Pursuer wrecked. You don't got it. Okay. Easy, easy. What's wrong with the sky? Is it me or is it the sky? It's a game glitch. All right. At least you could have timed it a prop, timed it properly. Uh, how did you know that the bomb was gonna explode exactly at that moment in time? And look, how conveniently placed free trade. Or maybe it was a master plan. Hmm. It was a master plan. Double or nothing. Mission success. Perfect. New car. That's uh, Aston Martin DB11. That's a GTR, GTR Premium, not a standard. Corvette Z06, yes, Z06. I'm a car guy, big brain guy, big brain guy. What is it? What is it? Uh, 99911 RS, GT3 RS, GT3. I was gonna say GT2. 
All right, thank you so much for watching, everybody. That was the final set piece action set piece of Need for Speed Payback. I'll see you next time. If you like these drawings, do check it out on Instagram and follow me on Instagram too. Like this video. See ya. Bye bye. Hey, wait. There was too many things to all at once. Like this video. End of story. Yeah. Bye bye.